Now, a player who bounced back in a big way last year, Saquon Barkley with the Giants, a real focal point of their offense. He, he signed that one-year extension there with the Giants, so he's in. He's playing football. Uh, I'm going to go back to Utah because I want to know what it is about Saquon Barkley uh, that seems just an absolute lock here as a top three back. At least that's where he's going in in uh, in ADP. It's it's the target share. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, to Saquon Barkley. I mean, like for, I have him about 14%, like 15% target share is like what we're looking at. We're talking 75 targets going to a running back. Like anytime like we can sit here and talk about, you know, 75 targets coming their way to a running back, like, Probably the only guys who are going to get more targets this year are going to be the guys that we've like two of the three guys that we've yet to talk about, essentially the top two guys. So it's just like when we talk about a running back getting 75 targets, like that's it. Like that's the money for me. And we know he's a great runner. Like maybe he's not as good as he was when he was a bit younger, but at the same time, I'm not sure the Giants really got many other weapons. Um, You know, like I, I like Waller, but like I was just saying this the other day, it's like, I don't think I would bet on a single Giants wide receiver to finish top 36. Like I, I you could pull names out of a hat and I'd probably agree with you on who's going to be the leading wide receiver. So for me, it's just like, I expect him to be a focal point of the offense and not only a focal point on the ground, but also a focal point through the air. And I think that's the kind of piece where I like take it. Like I do like a deeper dive, like on my projections. And it's like, there is no one in this entire team except for Waller who has more, has a larger target share than Saquon Barkley. Like it, and as far as like who's going to be getting the targets, it's Waller because he's a, a tight end, and then it's Barkley. Like their running back is going to be getting the second most targets on this team. And to me, that is the reason why, especially full PPR, even half PPR. Um, you know, he's in this range for me. It, it really just comes down to him being a stud in the past game and me wanting a piece of that. Yeah, I mean. You're going to see tomorrow when we talk. I love that you lean into Darren Wall. We talked about how legitimately this guy could have a really, really big season. And you nailed it right in the head where things are going in this offense. And Saquon Barkley, he's he's the, he's the guy to own here. I know Tim, Tim's Tim's off the Giants, kind of. I mean, it depends. If Waller falls, sure. Uh, you like a late stab on Isaiah Hodgins. But other than that, Saquon Barkley's the guy for you, Tim, huh? Yes. Yeah. Definitely the guy in this Giants offense because last year they showed they can score points without having like any threats outside. And then we saw Saquon against the, the Vikings in the playoffs and he was dominant. So I have zero doubts about him coming back and being Saquon for another year. I love it. Last night, we'll do, last note I'll say with the Giants, Darren Waller is the only pass catcher who goes in the top 150 picks. The next one's actually like 183. And it's Jalen Hyatt. So no Giants wide receiver is going drafted in your in your typical 15 uh, round 10 team leagues here. So it's certainly something that I found very interesting myself.